See this? This is my boomstick! Hi everyone, Boomstick here. Today we're looking at the Car Hunt Riot for the TVR Griffith. Now this is a very strange one. Um, I've already had a couple of runs um, just to test out the car and on the track. The TVR is an extremely different vehicle to most cars. It is extremely susceptible to turning and losing speed while turning. So um, what you want to do is you want to keep it on the straight and narrow for as much as possible um, and try and avoid drifting wherever possible as well. It's um, just an unusual car but I quite like this event um, being able to test out the TVR like this. Um, anyway, we'll take you through the route and we'll see if we can uh, improve on the time. So I'm just going to hold the nitro here. Just watch that guy doing the 360. And we're just gently, gently tapping to go around those corners. No hard steering. And we'll collect that nitro bottle, slight drift, and when we get lined up, and on the jump, we'll trigger our shockwave. And then we're going to keep that going through. And now we'll 360 in perfectly. We want to snap out of that pretty quickly to maintain that high speed. And then we're going to take a sharp turn here. Using open drift doesn't really help. And you can see that you lose a lot of speed, but we're back up at 337 now. And we're going to go just a little bit over that grass, not much. And we're going to trigger it here just over this gravelly bit. And head straight, don't go off the jump up there. And we're going to smash through this metal sheet and that lines us up for the blue nitros. And then we're going to trigger that once we go off there. You can actually get a shockwave there if you're, if you're good with the management of your nitro. We're going to head down this side of the path and um, get ready for a 360 imperfectly. And we quickly jump out of that, collecting that blue nitro and then just slight drift off there. So you go straight over, trying to maintain that speed. We're going to just pick up the nitros now. And I'll drift a tiny bit and just build up to a shockwave. Just to get back up to speed. And we're going to avoid that barrel roll. And then just holding drift for a shockwave across the finish line. There you go. Okay, 159. That should be a pretty good time. Um, we'll see where we positioned. 211. Well, as long as you're in the top 400, you're going to be in the top 5%. So good luck with this event. Um, obviously, it's going to take a few goes to get the hang of the TVR if you're not used to the vehicle yet. Um, just remember to tap, tap, tap instead of hard steering and I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. All right, well, if this has helped you, um, please give me a like and a subscribe up there, and uh, I'll catch you around soon with some more videos. Take care.